वेलकम टू माई व्यूज एंड न्यूज आई हैव ब्रेकिंग न्यूज फॉर यू विच इज फ्रॉम द महारा रीजन वेयर डोंट स्ट्राइक हैज बीन कंडक्टेड कैजुअलिटीज बींग रिपोर्टेड वी हैव रिसीव दिस इंफॉर्मेशन जस्ट मिनट्स अगो आई एम ऑन द मूव आई एम ट्रैवलिंग बट आई वॉन्टेड टू शेयर दिस इम्पॉर्टेंट न्यूज स्टोरी विद यू सेकेंडली we have a complete situation report for you from the amhara region how is the overall situation pano fighters entered the town they left this town within the last 48 hours let's start with the new story about don strike which happened on a town in the amhara region not far away from the oromia region let me show you on the map This is a northern zone of the Amhara region. This zigzag line shows Amhara, Oromia, Amhara far border. And in North Shoa, this don't strike has been conducted. Let me show you the exact place. Ankober can be seen here. This is Ankober, situated to the east of Debre Birhan. there is a main road which connects ankober with jabre birhan and then ankober to aliamba reportedly don strike has been conducted on ankober what was the target military uh, never issue statements about don strikes ethiopian military has not confirmed any don strikes on uh, groups in the amhara region but don strikes are happening pano groups are being targeted uh, in ankober according to pro pano elements a school was hit and pro pano elements say that a mother and her baby and several other people died in this attack around 20 casualties are being reported by pro pano elements in ankober in this don strike difficult to say uh, who has been killed but uh, in coming hours i'll try to update you secondly ankober to aliamba road is closed it's closed for several days it's still closed reportedly now why is that don strikes are conducted on north shore uh, obviously reason is very clear because from north shore uh north shore can easily be hit from oromia region that is why this is oromia and uh, this is bishofto there is an ethiopian air force base in bishofto and from bishofto you can reach amhara region easily that is why ankober has been hit we have seen don strikes in debre birhan and if you remember barahat was hit too there was a don strike on barahat a few days ago so all these places which are on uh, amhara oromia border within 100 km range are uh, they can be easily hit from the oromia region from bishofto from here where there is military base arar mada where these days uh, we know that uh, uh, UAE's airplanes are arriving carrying military aid so from bishofto these don strikes are being conducted i'll update you in coming videos about the uh, level of damage in the actual target in ankober let's move to the north now uh, and uh, you can see artom of forsi here a uh, warreda of oromia special zone where there were clashes between pano fighters and uh, amhara of pano fighters and oromo locals in relative calm here now further north wollo uh, and uh, gradually we're starting to see clashes in wollo near haik bistema robit bichale there have been clashes between military and pano fighters and uh, 
I think Fano entered Vichale. It took control of Vichale two days ago. But yesterday, military managed to make it back to Vichale. And Fano entered Vichale. This road was cut off. Main road. The Haik, Dasi, Vichale, Marsa road was cut off. But reportedly, Ethiopian military is back in Vichale town. Further north, you can see Marsa to the east of Marsa is very Babu. Pano fighters were in very Babu two days ago. There were heavy clashes in very Babu. Uh, now, uh, North Volo relative calm here. Uh, a few attacks close to Kobo, close to Kobo. A camp of Ethiopian military was hit by Pano fighters a few days ago. Relative calm here, but sporadic gunfire being reported around Lali Bala, the historic city uh, in the vicinity, in the outskirts of Lali Bala, reportedly, Pano and Melody uh, are clashing. Then to the west, uh, Gondar and uh, Gojum. Gondar. Where I reported about fighting between Pan and military in Chilga, Aikal, two days ago. There were heavy clashes uh, in Chilga. And uh, secondly, this Vareda, uh, Dambia, Vareda, where there is Kola Dibba, where there is Chohaid. There have been heavy clashes in this area close to Bonda city. This is Bonda city and here Kola Dibba. Juhayet, there have been clashes. Military has been ambushed by a farm of fighters uh, reported in uh, Juhayet, uh, West Dambia. Now, Bahirdar, the regional capital, before that, uh, South Gondar. I think no need to talk about South Gondar because we know that uh, Fano fighters have significant presence along this road. Nefas, Bicha, Gayan, Debritabor, Fartha, Ratha, they are based to the north and south of this road and they have the ability to hit these towns whenever they want to. Bahirdar is under pressure. Why? Because the two roads leading to Bahirdar from Gajam are witnessing intense clashes. I've been able to confirm in the last uh, few hours that there have been clashes between military and Fano in several towns of Gajam in the last uh, 12 hours, starting right from the border. This is border. This is Oromia Bhara border. And from here, uh, Gajam starts. Starting from here, Dejan can be seen. Dejan. Lumame. Fighting in Dejan. Lumame. Emmanuel. Mbicha. Pinotesila. So you see, all along this main road, there are clashes between Fano and Melody. Same is the case along the other road too. Dejan, Pichina, Debrivur, Otta, Adit, close to Aditu, again, fighting along this road and uh, traffic completely suspended. So it's not open. Agoma is in Lily. Bore is happening in Bore, is happening in the Lili, where Argo militia members and Fano fighters are clashing. Argo fighters trying to keep uh, Fano fighters away from the territories. Uh, Fano fighters took control of Bore around two days ago. They entered Bore. Since then, we've been seeing operations to push Fano out of Bore, operation being conducted by Ethiopian military, Argo militia members, and they are trying to push Fano out of Bore. Heavy clashes here, 
hundred styled on both sides in forehead. Same is the case with uh, the lily. You can see the lily here. Uh, again, Argo militia and uh, Ethiopian military are fighting in the lily. So this is the overall situation in the Amhara region that Don Stikes being conducted, Gajam almost under a siege you can say, all over Gajam, all across Gajam fighting ongoing. Pahidar, oh, oh, I think could be under siege both roads leading to Pahidar from the south and from the north or under pressure relative calm in Gondar so north Gondar Fano less active than south Gondar Fano then south Gondar where we know that Fano in a strong position uh, to the south uh, there is a uh, uh, Regaltana, Basel, again, these are Fano stronghold. North, uh, Volo, relative calm here. South, Volo, things heating up a little. Then, North Shoa, where Fano has presence here, and Don Strike was conducted uh, this morning on Ankober to the east of Tempere. So, this is the overall situation from the Amhara region of Ethiopia. Thank you for watching.